Pleasant day out there. What a day. Yes. What a day. Gorgeous. I, it, it looked like, you know, uh, maybe we would see this last into tomorrow. Unfortunately, maybe an isolated shower mm. pops up. Most towns stay dry, but there's certainly a greater risk of rain on Thursday. So enjoy it today is what you're saying. Soak it all in. <laughs> Friday looks good, too. Uh, let's briefly switch topics here, though, and talk a bit about the tropics. Mm. This is the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. Came in just before the 5 p.m. news began. Tropical storm uh, Ernesto still making its way toward Puerto Rico right now before it makes a hook back to the, toward the uh, north. And as it curves away, passing just to the north and east of Puerto Rico, it's Expected to keep strengthening, making it to Category 2 strength as it approaches Bermuda. We still have pretty high forecast confidence here that it stays well offshore from southern New England. We are anticipating at least some shower activity beginning on Saturday, though unrelated to Ernesto. There will be a storm system developing in the Great Lakes. Our model comparison here, both the European and American model, much better agreement between the start of the uh, rain later on Saturday. This is 9 a.m. Saturday. We are dry but clouding up. By 5 p.m. Saturday, both models showing shower chances increasing and then by Sunday, the greater risk for rain arrived. This is your first alert to some wet weather, especially focused on the second half of the weekend. It is gorgeous right now, though. The view on our ICAM in New London showing blue skies overhead, 73 degrees. Here's the view on our ICAM in Windsor Locks. We have some fair weather clouds overhead here at Bradley International, 84 right now. Winds are out of the north at 7 miles per hour. And most towns are in the upper 70s and lower 80s, with the exception of the northern end of the Connecticut River Valley, which has actually jumped up into the mid 80s, some mid 70s being reported in southeastern Connecticut too along the shoreline. We'll watch temperatures fall into the lower 70s after the sun sets, likely by 9 o'clock tonight. Great day for yard work tomorrow, at least through the first half of the day. Very bright out there, still very comfortable. Temperatures up into the lower 80s by lunchtime. And then in the afternoon, we see the increasing risk for a little bit more in the way of cloud cover and perhaps a couple of sprinkles. We've had a very wet start to the month of August thus far. In fact, we're running about three quarters of an inch above average from where we typically would be 13 days into the month. Here's first alert future cast at noon tomorrow, still bright, but as we get into the afternoon, see this little specks of green, just some sprinkles popping up. Most towns stay dry. By Thursday, it's looking a bit more active. Uh, could be dealing with scattered showers, especially Thursday afternoon. If you're planning to be out and about on Thursday, you can always track those with the free WFSB weather app. Uh, you can track those again right from the palm of your hand, but tomorrow enjoy the sunshine while it's here, and then Thursday becoming a bit more unsettled. We do look pretty good on Friday. Friday sort of a bit of a break between the two chances for showers on Thursday and again over the weekend. Look at those temperatures, 87 inland tomorrow, 86 Thursday, 85 by Friday. Along the shoreline, it will be in the 80s too. Overnight lows after tonight back up into the 60s. 75 to 80 on Saturday, becoming a bit muggier with showers likely in the afternoon and evening. Sunday, we are muggy and unsettled. Highs only in the 70s, a risk for showers and thunderstorms. Staying muggy and unsettled into the start of next week. Perhaps an isolated shower lingers into Tuesday. It is worth mentioning that our average high for the Hartford temperature stays above 80 through early September. Uh, so the next week here, pretty typical of what we would expect for the middle of the month of August, perhaps a couple of days, especially over the weekend where temperatures are slightly below average, but it does look like we recover nicely next week. And uh, Stephanie Aaron, it looks like we could even see some more sunny days, very comfortable days once we get through those showers this weekend. All right, Mike, thank you. Well, this